Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have What Are Their True Intentions in Love? And we have a whole slew of Oracle cards here for you, Virgo, because you're so important, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, we have, there's something that is ripe here, and I feel like you're going for it because we have the cord, which talks about the initiation, like the beginning of a connection, the beginning of something, right? That's why we have the cord here. Whatever is ripe here, and we see these, uh, they're cherries, yeah, or plums. I feel like they're plums. They, yeah, I feel like they're plums because we, we have a plum tree in the front. We do. It's my landlord's, uh, and uh, this year it didn't yield much at all. Uh, but these plums, are they're like grape plums. They could even be called grape plums, and they're, they're delicious, right? And so, you know, if something's ripe, maybe something is delicious here as well. Uh, the pond, you're probably in your inward thinking all about this, right? And uh, there's some mastery here. I feel like you are, uh, you have the lion here. This talks about having the courage. I feel like you have the, you have the courage for something that you think like the time is ripe, right? Now it's, it's the time to move ahead, I believe, in a situation, right? Uh, and so you could have been in solitude, maybe with a broken heart, Virgo, or somebody was, because here's... Alejandra Piznaric, uh, Piznaric probably, yeah, looks sound like a Czech name for sure, but uh, Alejandra here is, you know, she's in solitude and she's holding a broken heart here, uh, mm -hmm. and then we have the card of Winter's Dream, Gestation Period, the Winter's Dream is like, it can be waiting till winter is kind of over here, it can be kind of planting something maybe in the winter or starting the gestation period is when uh, something has already been conceived, like in the baby, you know, uh, in the womb, I believe, or, or any other thing that is growing too, uh, the gestation period, uh, it is a time for, I believe, abundance, right? Uh, this You could be planting a seed right now or wanting something to begin to grow right now, right? You could, the gestation period. The dust devil is here. It talks about moving out of stagnation. It can talk about decluttering your life and kind of, Leaving things that were kind of, you know, that maybe that were slowing you down here or stagnating, kind of putting you in stagnation. The dust devil, yeah, it's kind of like getting rid of that, right? Remember the little, uh, the little, uh, what are they? Those little uh, handheld kind of vacuums, right? Sorry, guys. And uh, we also have, sorry, guys, we also have... Uh, this card of we also have the <clears throat> the covenant the sacred contract right so you know i feel like you want to step into a sacred contract with somebody virgo you probably do here uh and you know the cloak is here the clamp camouflage here you've been like hiding something i'll call you back uh you've been hiding something sorry virgo and this yeah i didn't know my phone was on there but <clears throat> the cloak is here, almost like you've been hiding something or camouflaging something. And, you know, he's wearing the cloak, right, which is uh, a camouflage, and he has a mask on. You can't see his face. And here, you're trying to do something here for sure. <clears throat> you have a plan uh, for a new beginning with somebody. I feel like you really do. The sacred contract, it could be for uh, a marriage possibly, right? <clears throat> and, you know, the cloak, he has everything he needs. The, the, uh, the sword is there. And uh, the bird is here, right, uh, for flight, kind of. Sometimes it is. Uh, and here we have the fox, like, for knowledge, what to do. You're trying to be shrewd here about something. Doesn't necessarily mean deception. I feel like you are carefully planning something. Yeah, I feel like you are. You're trying to be probably, you're, it looks like you're trying to be undercover about something. Let's see what we have for a Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what we have for a Virgo uh, and their person. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also have meditation is bringing answers. Look for signs, Virgo. Maybe you're looking, uh, maybe you're trying to figure out when this is the, the ripe time to do this. You have the Ten of Cups, Virgo, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, we have a few reversals here. Maybe I have flipped all these cards. <clears throat> Notorious for that, right? So, you know, here you are, Virgo, Queen of Swords. <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like you are accepting a cup right here. <clears throat> and so, not so much a cup, but your sword is down, and, you know, Cupid or the angel, right, is handing the queen, 
the crown. Like, okay, I'm going to do this, right? Like, the crown is about nobility, uh, and the sword can be about decisions and victories, right? Taking action. <clears throat> I feel like you are accepting that. Uh, yeah, I feel like you are. And what's on your mind is here, you're studying the situation. The Page of Pentacles here is a study, right? It is kind of a <clears throat> an apprentice, kind of a study, kind of. But this is what you are doing. I feel like it's all about a new beginning you want with somebody. This person is valuable. Your challenge is the Knight of Cups reversed. <clears throat> right? So, you know, Virgo, you know, this being the challenge, this man's handing her the cup, but it's in the reverse. This can talk about kind of not accepting somebody's cup, though it can. Because there's some kind of heartbreak in this, uh, when you see Alejandra, right, holding in solitude, holding the broken heart, that's what she's doing right here. You also have the Divine Dragon. Let's see what they have to say about the Divine Dragon. Yeah, let's see uh, what they have to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a, a, a transformation in your life. He's eating, starting to eat his skin here. Uh, was what they do for, uh, they do, uh, snakes eat their own skin. And then the wings are here. Like, this is a transformation uh, in your life, I feel like, that <clears throat> you are reaching for, most likely. Let's see what it says here. Uh, sovereignty, power, full expression, and magic. Yeah, sovereignty uh, talks about you controlling your own destiny. Just like people need to be a sovereign citizen. Yes, they do. All right, to make their own decisions about their kids, about what they want for their body, and all this stuff. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so, you know, but this is sovereignty, and this is kind of like, this could be, you know, you, I feel like you might be feeling some guilt or something about something. <clears throat> you could, um, and this can talk about, this is really interesting. Let's see what it says. A dragon chooses you. You do not choose the dragon. A dragon's power connects you to your own power from within to stand sovereign. Yeah. It's also connected to your root expression of power, fire, and even sexual energy. The Kundalini, mm -hmm, rising, your sexual energy rising. You cannot serve the collective without yourself first being alive and ablaze. Allow the dragon's fire of purification to cleanse you. Yeah, you're going through like a purification, a purging. Some Purification means you're purging, you're usually leaving something out of your life in order to move forward or to cleanse yourself, a purging, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is what the dust devil is about too, purging things from your life that you feel like no longer work for you, right? Uh, and to in order to move out of stagnation, and so I feel like that's what you are trying, you are doing here. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like you are ready to move forward on some type of a sacred contract that you want with somebody, a covenant. This is a covenant. It's showing up right here. I feel like you want to tell somebody, or you want you want a commitment with somebody. That's really what you want. Yeah, you do. Um, and so you, I feel like you feel like the time is ripe for this. Yeah, you probably do. And let's look at the pond, see what, the, what they say about the pond. Uh, let's see what they say about the pond. <clears throat> and uh, mm -hmm. the pond is showing up here as, <clears throat> oh God, let's see. This is looking inward. Yeah, and that's what she's doing over here, Alejandra, with the solitude card. She has been looking inward, right? Inspiration and uncertainty. Yeah, you're uncertain here. You are. You're uncertain, but, you know, this is a really deep reading because you're purging something from your life, but you're uncertain about moving forward, kind of. Uh, you might want somebody to kind of listen to you. It looks like you could feel like you were chosen by, like, by the divine for, for somebody, like... Like, somebody's your soulmate here. And this is kind of chosen for you, which is really interesting. So, let's see. Look at your challenge. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed for Virgo? We have the Eight of Cups. And this is abandonment. This is in the challenge. And the Knight of Cups reversed. I feel like you have to abandon something or somebody and purge something from your life here to have this Knight of Cups. That's why it's in the reverse. You can't have that until you do this. 
until you abandon somebody or maybe until they abandon you could be it talks about drinking from the cup and like <clears throat> getting ready to walk away kind of like enjoying somebody's cup and possibly abandoning them and moving on to drink from somebody else's cup yeah the two of swords reversed here mm -hmm. and the lovers yeah and so the two of swords reversed uh, in this particular deck mm -hmm. and let's see what they talk about blindness indecision mm -hmm. maybe it's in the reverse that this could be indecision but this can talk about treachery and lies Mm -hmm. you could be hoping here that because you look like you're going to move on here it doesn't look like you are like going to stay wherever you're at it looks like you're getting ready to purge something from your life uh, it could be a union for sure over here you could be kind of maybe hoping uh, there's something about lies or treachery right here I feel like there is uh, it, maybe not but it looks like because you're not certain about, you look like you're purging something, but you want uh, somebody else, something else here. You want the sacred contract with somebody, but I feel like you are, you could be concerned here, possibly how, about lies. There's something here about lies and a choice, I believe. This could just be your indecision. It could be, uh, maybe you are undecided, but it looks like you are doing this, right, to... The full card. Let's see if it's reversed here. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not reversed. So I have flipped the cards the right way. Duh, Denise. So we have the full card, right? And so this is what you want. You want this new adventure. Something's ripe here. You want this. You want to like. You want to move on and take this. This card could have been in the upright. It talks about making a decision, the two of swords. I feel like this is exactly what you're doing. Here you are accepting the crown. You put your sword down here. This card was probably really in the upright because I flipped the cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoops. So let's see what else we have. And let's get another card here. And I feel like this, this is you. I feel like you kind of want, you want to surrender something. Like you want to put your sword down and move forward with this wish, with this sacred contract. Yes, you do. I feel like you do here. And this two of swords, it can talk about maybe if it was in the if it was in the reverse uh, indecision. But I feel like you're making this decision. I feel like you're putting the swords down, like kind of like there's nothing else I can do, but like go ahead with this, because you love somebody here. I feel like you think somebody was chosen for you. Yeah, like like by the divine or by God or, or by either or both. Let's see. And and so we have your doubt or your fear, the five of pentacles. You, you could be fearing this person if they'll let you in. Maybe because you are married to somebody, the hierophant, because the dog wants to get into the church. Right? And it's snowing here and the light's on in the church. Like, will you let me in? You could be fearing that maybe maybe you want a third party here possibly but you don't doesn't look like that it looks like you want to end something and begin something else but you like you could be fearing this person maybe might not want to invest in you possibly they might not let you in because maybe you were married before you could always or or you have maybe or you are leaving a marriage there's some type of abandonment here and purging and you could be afraid this person won't let you in for a commitment because you want a commitment, of course, with the sacred contract, right? Your person's energy is the, the, uh, the temperance card. We have the queen of wands reversed. And they have judgment reversed. OMG, right? Let's see what else we have. We have uh, the full card in their challenge, right? And the challenge, now we're with a new deck, so we have the full card twice. This is what you want, a new adventure. And their challenge is the full card. Like, you're going to do it. Like, you're going to take a chance on somebody. And that's what I said uh, a minute ago. Like, I feel like you, this was probably a really hard decision, but you look like you're moving forward with courage. Right? You have the lion here, uh, Virgo. Right? You could have gave uh, the lion a little buzz cut here. You said, well, I got to go with my hair looking good, with my little fade. <laughs> Maybe. He looks like he's got his, his hair kind of at the top, right? Like, 
Like somebody went over there with some scissors, right? Let's see what your person might be hoping for. Ten of Cups. They're fearing the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person is afraid you have, like, you, you're going to have a new start with somebody. They could be afraid you're going to, like, apologize to somebody so you get into union with them. They could be afraid, like, you have this cup, right? And they could be afraid that you have this cup for somebody. They could be fearing that you're following your intuition, like you're going with what, what you want, what you feel is right for you. Because here's the fish coming out of the cup, and he looks kind of happy here, like, whoa. And so, you know, or he looks like, you know, he looks like he's kind of, like, being a little bit surprised, but the fish is here, and it talks about feelings and intuition, right? Your person, I feel like, is afraid that you're trusting your intuition, like, regarding your life. And this sacred contract, I don't know if they know, if, is it like exactly a sacred contract, right? Like, I don't know, but they look like they are afraid that you're kind of, you have a new start, something like that, with somebody uh, or in your life. The Ten of Cups is what they want. We see the Ten of Cups over here, and over here it talks about kind of, uh, it talks about staying together, like through thick and thin, but, you know, you're accepting, like, you're accepting a union right here, the Queen of Swords. You're accepting uh, either your knowledge about this, your intuition, or a decision that you already made here. You, over here, for me, what you kind of wanted here, or what you're hoping for, is you're hoping that you can have this adventure with somebody. Uh, maybe you're hoping they have courage, this person you're choosing. You're choosing somebody here with the lovers. Yeah, you are. You sound like a choosy lover by, uh, who sings that song? The Isley Brothers. So your person has the Queen of Wands reversed next to Temperance. Maybe they're Sagittarius, right? They could be Leo. Where's that sun at? Oh, we don't have the sun, but we have the strength card here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's over here, the lion, not really the strength card. But they could be Aries. We have the Fool. And they could be just any sign. It doesn't matter here. I'm just kind of calling out... Uh, possible potentials, if that is not redundant, right? So we have the Two of Swords again, and this person also here, like, I don't know what to do about it, right? And, you know, there could be a, a, a competition. I don't know what to do about the competition. Uh, these two people are fighting with the swords in front of her. I don't know what to do. Uh, this could be like, kind of like, well, let's see who wins. It could be, your person here feels like, What's on their mind is judgment reversed, and the fool is what they is their challenge. This person knows you're making a decision not in their favor against them, and they feel like you're probably having a rebirth with somebody. It looks like that. The death card. This is what's on their mind. This is between the challenge and what's on their mind here. The death card, judgment, and the fool. This is clear. Like they think you're ending it with them to take a leap of faith on somebody. What they want here, uh, or could be hoping for, they're hoping for success or happiness with the Ten of Cups and the, and the Sun. Maybe you're married to them. Uh, the Hierophant's here. The Ten of Cups is here twice. You might have a family with somebody. And the Page of Swords. Uh, they're trying to gain clarity on what you're doing. I feel like they're, that's what they're doing here. Page of Swords wanting more information. And the Page of Cups is their fear. We have the Nine of Pentacles. They're afraid you're going to be single, or they're going to be single. And we're going to go to the Extended Virgo. They're all super affordable. And we're going to see how this person feels about you. Uh, what this is all about, the underlying energies, how they are looking at the situation. And what's in their environment, physical or, you know, um, emotional. What they would like to say to you. It could be blippity blip. Uh, it could be go fly a... Go, go fall off a rock, Virgo. I'm not really sure here, okay? Not yet. <laughs> That's not really funny, right? But uh, And also, uh, what, what they're hiding or what you don't know about this particular person, right? And uh, external influences, yeah, and any outside influences here, and there definitely is, and their true intentions or their outcome. Thanks so much for joining me here. God bless. And, uh, yeah, please remember to like, share. And subscribe. All the extensions are, are super affordable. I'm really excited to see this because this is a major change for you in your life. This is a major turning point. And I feel like you probably have been in solitude a long time to figure this out. I feel like you have. We have meditation brings answers. 
And we have Alejandra with the broken heart. And this is about solitude. Mm -hmm. You could have been looking for a sign. We have that card. Look for a sign. Like within your meditation. For sure. I feel like you were. Thank you so much you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.